The spirit of the Calder Strong movement is what made Calder Park a reality. I'm standing here at City Hall where right now the City Council is deciding whether or not Hickory Trail Park will be renamed in Calder to his honor. If you take a look behind me, you'll see his mother speaking on his behalf. Brianna Willis, Calder's mother, expressed it was a strange feeling that a 12-year-old would have such a lasting legacy. Brianna added the same park her children played in will now be named in his honor. Calder's family agreed to give memorial donations about $16,000 to the Iowa City Park Foundation. Those funds will be used for the nature play area at Riverfront Crossings Park. All city council members sympathize with Calder's family and their story as they unanimously agreed. Thomas, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. So this has kind of been in the works since he passed away in November and we met with the city just a week or two after he passed um, knowing that we really wanted to memorialize him in some permanent way um, and this city was one of the first things we considered. Reporting from Iowa City Hall, this is Gustavo Meyer, DITV News.